Welcome to Majestic Green Stadium, Triple A Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Scranton Wilkes-Barre Rail Riders taking on the Syracuse Mets. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about ready to roll here and towing the slab here. Number 43. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today, but when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. Catfish Brown, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. That one missing inside. Now move to first. And he dives back in safely. Swing and a miss. One and two. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. That's Ball inside. Back in. Two balls, two strikes. Hey, we're pacing up there. And here it comes. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. He can't get there. It's a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field, so that definitely felt good. Runners on the corners with one gone. Now the third baseman, Tyler Hardman, looking to rebound today. He was 0 for 4 last night. Double play ball to second. Flips it for one. On the Vogelback. Two. Pitcher made the pitch, and his players made the play behind him. Nice job. 4-6-3 inning ending double play. So first and second with two outs. So here's Brown at the plate, and he's already singled in this game. There's a strike. This guy's usually not one to chase pitches off the plate, but he did there. We'll see if he can tighten up his zone a little bit. Now the 0-1. Slider misses outside. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. And a ball and two strikes. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Swings and misses. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. We go to the bottom of inning number two. The Rail Riders with the lead three to nothing. So digging in, number 18. Runner at first with no outs here. On the ground, left side, six, four, three. And they turn the double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. 
All set for the start of the inning. And now it's the switch inning second baseman, Catfish Brown. The wind of the pitch. Going one. You know, this group of hitters really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They were obviously able to run the starter out of the game in the third, so they've set the table for a win, and now I'm sure they're thinking it's time to feast. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. So if they're looking to feast, are you saying they've already got a plate but are looking to go back for seconds? <laughs> yeah, I'd say something like that. Not close with that one. And the count's even at two. Next one misses, and it's three and two. Got him swinging. Now it's the second baseman, Catfish Brown. In there, and it's 0-1. First and second, two down. There's a strike. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Last half of the fifth coming up. The railroad. So two away with nobody on. Number 18 will hit next. He hit into a double play his first time up. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Whips it to first. That ends the frame. One hit in the inning, a solo homer. We're through five. The Rail Riders have the advantage, nine to one. So up next, Catfish Brown. The second baseman, Catfish. Now he breaks his bat. Tosses to first. That's out number three. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one left. Midway in inning number seven. And, it and welcome back. Last chance for the home team. Stepping in, Daniel Vogelback. Left hand hitter waits. And he hits a ground ball right side. To first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Now batting, shortstop. Mark. So digging yeah. in, number 18. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. Bounce to the right side, Brown. On to first, ball game. Well, a big win by eight runs, and when you have that kind of lead, you make it easier for the pitching staff to come out, make their pitches, pitch to contact, and not worry about giving up the lead. So nice job today all the way around to get the W. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Triple-A action coming at you on the show. It's the Scranton Wilkes-Barre Rail Riders taking on the Syracuse Mets. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. First pitch moments away. Our starting pitcher in this one, Christian Scott. Really labored his last time out. Four plus innings, wasn't able to Wait qualify for the win, but fortunately got a no decision and didn't take a loss. We'll see if he can get in the W column today. Catfish Brown. Now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Scott checks the runner, and he's back in on a dive. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Yeah, 
Field two. And that one off the outside edge. It's a good take. Got it by him for the K. Oh, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an ex So here's Brown at the plate. Brown getting the start at second, only 18 years old, and he was a third-round pick in 2023. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. That's in for a strike. And safe. It's a stolen base. Well, he picked over once just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets in the scoring position. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Next offering is down low. That's a really good take. And now it's even up. On the ground, out to short. And that is that. One hit, one. Welcome back, top six. And now here is Catfish Brown. The right-hander back to work. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Next offering is in for a strike. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Now Man at first with one gone. Number two digs in now. A strikeout and a walk. Ground ball right side could be two. Brown tossed to second, and it's a double play to end the inning. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. Seventh inning coming up. The Mets have the lead, eight to three. Back here at the ballpark, here's the second baseman, Catfish Brown. Catfish. Let's go, kid. Come on, one time right here. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. And a good eye there. Activity in the bullpen. Vinny Natoli getting ready to go. Here we go now. Come on now. One time. And the right hater deals. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. See it drive like you can. The one two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his. Back to the top of the lineup. And now the center fielder, Lorenzo Cedrola. One down, base is empty. On the ground, right side. Brown. Two down. He's out. The batter, number one. Shortstop, Jeff Williams. So up next, Catfish Brown. <laughs> Part of the order coming through now and with one home run already in this inning they're definitely looking to do some more damage on the ground the first Vogel back steps on the bag now one gone in the ninth nine four our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB the show thanks for stopping
Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show has AAA baseball for you. It's the Scranton Wilkes-Barre Rail Riders taking on the Syracuse Mets. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about set to go. And on the hill in this one, number 19. Yeah, got the W last time out. Six innings, a quality start. Hey, if a guy will give you that, you'll take it every single time. Catfish Brown at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. Next offering is down low. And the count even one and one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Good fastball going early until they show they can make some good contact. You keep on throwing the pitch. Ooh, Next offering strike. misses, and it's two and two. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. And so one out, nobody on. So here's Brown at the plate. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And a foul ball left side. Here we go, big guy. Come on. The wind of the pitch. And there's the strike. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch. And he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Now it's the DH, Catfish Brown, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And that one wrapped foul. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Popped up to the left, into foul ground, calls it in, and there's one away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him. And welcome back. New inning getting started, and now the DH, Catfish Brown. The pitch. And that one fouled off. The tying run at the plate. Got him to chase one above the zone there. The high fastball, particularly for young hitters, can be hard to lay off of because you see it so well at eye level, but it's really hard to catch up and get that top hand to work on time. Swung on, popped up left side. Puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one away. Well, such a confidence boost for him. Well, a three-pitch save. This guy might feel cheated a little bit. Gets in the ball game, wants to show off his arsenal, and really didn't get that opportunity. But I think he'll take it. Whenever you can get that save and do it efficiently, he'll be ready to pitch tomorrow. A 3-2 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew, And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Triple-A baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Scranton Wilkes-Barre Rail Riders taking on the Syracuse Mets. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. All right, first pitch coming up. And on the hill in this one, Jose Buto. Tell us about him in that sub-3 ERA, Singy. Well, anytime you can keep your ERA under three, you're doing a lot of things right, and you're putting your team in a position to win a lot of ball games as well. And he's doing tremendous out there on the mound. Every time he gets the ball, you expect him to go out there and dominate, and that's what he's been to this point. We'll see how he is today. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first. No swing. He held up. Patrick Johnson with the call there. Oh, 
The next that's offering misses. And that's ball three. There's a strike. And fouled off. Three, two. And yeah, there's ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. Now the batter now, Jet Williams. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Good That's eye right ball. there. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Lead runner around second. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. The next pitch misses, and that's ball one. Missed inside with the curve. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Cedrola on third. Williams on at first with nobody out. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Spoils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. And it's filled up. Line drive, base hit down the line. One run is in. Williams around third. He'll score as well, and they lead by two. And he's got a two-run triple. Gets him on the board first, coming through with two RBIs on that swing. Solid swing from start to end, on time with everything, really good balance, nice extension, and he met it out front for the line drive knock. Fought off foul. Brown, he's become known as a guy that's really tough to take deep, and that is especially go. valuable today, Chris, when the ball's going out of the ballpark so much. And a foul ball. It's very important. It's all about run prevention, right? So uh, when you have that, it's a plus. But if you are going to give up the long ball, you want the bases to be empty. And that's where control and command really comes into play for a guy like this. He goes down looking. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow it just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. Abraham Almonte, batting with one down, takes a strike. Had the day off yesterday. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a nope, lot better than bad. trying to hit the high 90s. And that one almost got him. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Popped up. Defoe under this one. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Batting six. The catcher. And here's the catcher, Kevin Parada. Two outs. Let's get out of here. That one down the line and foul ball. That one pushed foul.
Two outs and one in scoring position. High fly ball, right field. Got it, got it, Makes got the it. grab, and that is that. They Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Angel Acuna. And the right hander back to work. And takes low for ball one. And there's a ball. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Next pitch misses. Three and oh. There's a strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Now here is number 18. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Now the left fielder, Alex Ramirez. Good power, not great in the OBP department. No outs, runners at first and second. Ain't nobody out now. And the 0-2. Good job to fight that one off. Hey, Righty to the plate. On the ground to third. Hardman. Jump throw to no, first, he and he beats it. Protecting with strikes on him and putting the ball in play speaks to cutting down the strikeouts, shortening up with two strikes. And now, Lorenzo Cedrola. And the righty deals. Roll to short, could be two. Steps on the bag for one. And a run scores on the double play. It's always great when you can add a run, but in this situation with the bases loaded, double play is kind of a rally killer. Williams batting for the second time, and that's strike one. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at-bat to try to get something to hit hard. And now the count is even. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. Off the mark there. And it's two and one. And he grounds one to the right side. Base hit and a run in to score. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Daniel Vogel back at the plate. Pereira brings it in for the third out. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the last of the third. And here is number two. Brown back to work. Hard ground ball base knock. Tough game for him so far, Boog. Another hit, and they've just been knocking him around through the first two plus. He's got to get things back on track. Maybe junk a pitch that isn't working, or he might not last much longer. Dive, and he's got it. Flips it from the ground. That's one. To first, not in time. Great effort there. Now, Kevin Parada flied to right his first time. He was late there. Strike one. Parada goes six foot one, batting sixth in today's lineup. A former first round pick in 2022. Almonte at first, one gone. In the dirt, but kept close. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. And now a man into scoring position. Right hander kicks, deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again.
And that one hit to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Here's the second baseman, Luis Angel Acuna. He walked and came around to score his first time up. Pitch misses inside. 1-0. and oh. Two outs with a runner at third. And we got two. Two down. Next two. offering misses, and it's 2-0. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. The pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. In comes the runner from third. And they lead by four. And into second easily with a two-out double. Well done. Drives in the run. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. At the play, number 18. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0-1. Runner at second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. It's going to have to... Got him looking for the strikeout. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. They get a run on two hits. No. And welcome back. Bottom of the fourth. Here's the left fielder, Alex Ramirez. That's in there. Strike one. Well, these guys doing a good job at the plate with runners on base, and that can be a key difference maker in the game. They put a bunch of runs on the board, thanks in large part to four hits with runners in scoring position. Knocks it down. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. That's in there. That is strike two. On top of that, they haven't left many guys on base, so they've been efficient getting runners on and finding ways to bring them home. Here's the 0-2. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. One ball, two strikes. Lifted in the air, right field. I go, I go. Puts the squeeze on it, one down. The batter, number one. Man at first, Jet Williams, the next to hit. Out towards right center field. Pereira settles under it and makes the catch. Two down. Here's Daniel Vogel back. So clutch. You could argue that he's been this team's MVP this year. That one's in there 0 and 1. Foul ball there. Ramirez off of first with two away. To the right side. Sneaks through, base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. So two on with two away. And next is the designated hitter, number two. That one's in there, and that is strike one. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Pitch misses, and it's one and one. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Ramirez, rounds third, headed for the plate. One run is in. Vogel back, headed for the plate. He's in there, and it's now a six-run lead. Nicely done. Brings home two. Just a great... Matt Sauer into the game. He last pitched two days ago. 
whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year to see your team win at home there's just something special about that good job by these guys to get it done for the hometown fans 7-2 your final here today for chris singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at mlb the show